Romney Heights and Jim Church Railway was the dream of two men, Captain Howie and Count Louis Zabrowski. He ordered two Pacific locomotives to be designed by the leading model engineer of his day, Henry Greenlee. The official opening of the railway took place on the 16th of July, 1927. Farlighter's first job is to dig the dead fire out from the day before. Once that's done, he then lays in a layer of pebbles, a layer of wooding, a layer of paraffin rags, and then slowly add coal to the fire, bringing the level of the fire up, gradually increasing the pressure to when the driver wants to book on. The way that you make sure you get your signalling right is we have a locking tray underneath, which is a mechanism, which basically ensures that when you go to pull a lever, it will only allow you to pull it if it's a correct movement. There's a board that tells the driver he's not permitted to enter the section without the tablet. I'm Mike Jakes, and I've uh, had a passion about steam since I was a little boy. I passed my test to drive in 1988, so I've been doing it good, a good few years. Every day is different. The highest mileage I think I've ever done in a year was 10,400 miles on steam. So we're all high mileage drivers compared even to the big mainline trains that are running today. I'm Danny Martin, the General Manager of the Romney Highland Dimchurch Railway. But it's been the hobby of mine, my main interest in life getting on for, for 45 years now. now. We don't make any profit, we plough everything back into the, the organisation, um, looking after, of course, the historic steam engines that are the real essence of this rail. Today, the wonderful dream of Captain Howie gives joy to over 100,000 visitors a year from around the globe, creating memories for all generations.